Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we are doing a general guidance message for the upcoming week. In this message, we're going to tap into the energy surrounding you. We're going to look at what's challenging you for the week and the outcome if you stay in this energy. I'll clarify throughout the message and I'll pull a few cards at the end for advice. If that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone is always welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive right into Scorpio's energy for this next week. And we will see what is going to come out for you through this energy. Most important message here for Scorpio spirit. What do my Scorpio friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming energy? Please and thank you. Seven of Cups. Queen of Cups. Definitely an energy of options. Okay. And a need to release worry, a need to release fear. It's like you get you have multiple options to choose from. For some of you, this is going to be like partners, relationships. For others of you, this is going to resonate as opportunities for work. And the strength energy is coming out because there is an, a need for acceptance here to move forward. What is truly in alignment with your long-term goals, Scorpio? So the energy surrounding you at this time, the justice, the magician, and the six of swords. There's some anticipation in regards to contracts in regards to maybe court proceedings or litigations maybe this is waiting for something to come through okay but i definitely feel here an energy of trying not to worry as much like don't worry be happy okay the challenge here the lovers, the seven of swords, and the queen of wands. The message is becoming clearer. We're going to clarify this as we go through. Then we have the page of wands, the chariot with the three of pentacles or three of stones in this deck. Okay. So let's get into it. And we're going to clarify as we go through, guys. Don't you worry. The Justice, the Magician, and the Six of Swords. So, again, being mindful of our thoughts is important. When we're in this energy, the Six of Swords energy, yes, it's moving forward into a calmer space, but it's still looking over your shoulder. Okay? And... If you feel that energy, it's no need to worry twice. When you over worry, overthink a situation, you stress yourself out twice over that endeavor. Okay, you stress yourself out when you're thinking about it and you stress yourself out when you go through the process of that. Okay, trust the process here, Scorpio, and know that everything is happening for a reason. If there's some things that are ending in your life that are falling away, let it there are people that are going away that don't reach out as much anymore. Let them. Okay. Don't worry over the past. Let's clarify. Justice, the magician, the six of swords. Energy. Maybe hard for you to see how this aligns with your goals. Because I feel like a lot of you, when I say, oh, get clear on your bigger picture vision, you've been here on the channel for some time. 
So you already have your plan in place, okay? It's taking the steps to move forward, putting the plan into action. Now, the challenge here is the lovers, the seven of swords, and the queen of wands. So a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's a person who you have an intense connection with, but you're at odds with right now. Now, why is this important? Because this is a person who at one point you had integrated into your plan. And because whatever for whatever reason it didn't work, the thing you and this person went separate ways. But there's still a soul tie connection here. You still feel this person's presence, this person's energy. They still feel your energy. And that's why there's this almost like conflicted like do I do I stay or do I go one foot in one foot out even though there's a distance does it make sense I also feel like there's like an overindulgence and maybe feeling alone or left and I don't even though I don't feel like that's the case that's just the feeling that I feel like somebody left me behind or somebody left me alone now moving forward Scorpio, there's going to be an opportunity for you and this person. You're going to cross paths and have a conversation and sit down like adults and have an adult conversation. And even though you may be cautious of this person, be open to this conversation. You and this person can work together to find a common ground, but you have to be open to that. Let's clarify the Page of Wands, the Chariot with the Three of Pentacles, please. Mm -hmm. Communication is going to be the key. So if you want to get on the same page with that particular person, Scorpio, you may have to talk about it. Now, where will you meet this person? Where are you going to cross paths? There's some sort of gathering that you're going to be attending and this person is going to be there. So let's pull a few cards out here for your advice, guidance moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. For information on rituals, ritual kits, personal readings, it's all linked below in the description box. And if you found the message was helpful, if it's resonating for you, you can give it a thumbs up or you can comment below how it was helpful, how it was resonating. You never know how your story could help another person. The Page of Cups, Five of Swords, the Two of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Fool on the bottom of the deck. So like I said, Scorpio, there's a need to prepare. I don't feel like you and this person are going to come together this week. If I had to put my intuition into this reading, I would say sometime around Memorial Day. This gathering is going to take place maybe a week before or a week after. And I don't feel like it's a Memorial Day gathering. I feel like it's more of like a, a birthday party, a graduation, a wedding, something along those lines. Okay. Now, this can go one of two ways with this person. You and this person can come together, have a conversation and get on the same page or you can come together this can get too heated of a discussion and go your separate ways tower moment either way it's okay just breathe but if you sit down and think about how you want to approach this conversation with this person ahead of time it will prepare you and you will be less reactive so take some time Sit down and think about it. So your lighted pathway oracle message coming out for your reading. Manifest your dreams first. Release all negative thoughts that block your mind and limit your beliefs. Physical moves like walking or practicing yoga are good before you visualize your goals and feeling them with all of your senses. Identify the blockages. Somewhere within your mindset, there is a blockage of energy that prevents you from reaching your goals. 
searching for it as soon as you can. Take action. No more procrastinating because you are well planned, well prepared, and therefore ready to make a move. Beautiful, beautiful. Scorpio, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. I hope the message was helpful and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. Hey guys, I just want to come on really quickly and let everybody know that I'm posting content on Patreon, on OnlyFans, and on the YouTube membership platform. It's going to be guided meditations. I'll do some sound healing and maybe even throw in some yoga videos if that's something that you're interested in you're more than welcome to join the information will all be linked below in the description box thank you guys again for all the love and the support and i look forward to reading your cards again soon namaste